seems like everyone went for them. Maui and Powder have got the right idea, you know? You just play it safe and let the others take the risks, and true. slowly but surely, you'll wind up on top. It is definitely true. Well, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Virtus Pro and the Big in a best of three here at Flashpoint. Virtus Pro starting on the CT side of Mirage and the Big on the T side. And I don't know. I, I both these games today, I feel really not that confident in my picks. <laughs> what a way to get started! Oh, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. And now we are off. It's Sanji hiding in the corner and Jame coming in for another headshot. The two of them combining for four kills and they have shut down big in this pistol round. All of that was really wonderful. Utterly denied, utterly annihilated. And well, that's a, that's a pistol round for you there where it just doesn't go at all your way for big. They were ready for him, Virtus Pro. And so big have just kind of got to chuck that round you know, chuck that round away. Not worry about it. Not dwell on it too much. It was way too one-sided. <laughs> Look, you kind of just write it off. Those were some incredible shots from James. That looked very, very smooth. All right. Well, there's one thing I think that's not going to happen. It's not going to be a boring game. This one, and the next one definitely won't be either. So, I'm, I'm excited about that. I think we're going to see some cool Counter Strike coming out here. As you mentioned earlier, CS is definitely a real force to be reckoned with when it comes to the AWP. But James. Absolutely is as well, and it'll be interesting to see how that's going to play out. Bomb is at top mid, and the Eagles have done nothing so far. This is super cool, though. This is similar to what we were seeing from Dignitas yesterday, actually, Anders. I mean, in the, in the sense that uh, Virtus Pro are just charging at big right now. First two rounds, taking fights, being bold, not letting big get comfortable, not letting big exert that confidence, or you know, develop that confidence for themselves, knowing that they are the favorite in the match. Virtus Pro are the ones who are just making some plays. Tijin putting up a fight. At least he's able to finally get the first kill so far this map for big. Yeah, but, uh, yeah I mean, that's uh, I like that Virtus Pro are playing this aggressively right out the gates. Yeah, definitely. I mean, not getting sniped away from the Deagles either. They were, uh, they were just so ready for it. Buster is going to be in position. So they will only lose Sanji, which is just fine. Third round. No bomb plant in either of the first two rounds. So they're going to have to... Relax a little bit here, cool it down. And we'll see what they can get up to getting into the uh not so much this next run. This uh this is gonna be a little bit of a of a slaughter coming up surely. Yeah, I mean the single flash, I just imagine. Uh, let's see a waterfall onto A. It's not gonna happen, unfortunately. Actually maybe that's due to spawn. But um uh, kinda similar to like what you see on B site on train, right? Where T site you can just run and just try and stick the bomb plant. Hey. They're just messing around. Yeah. I was about to say, there's no... This no. as far as I know, unless we were about to see something crazy for the first time no, there. No, there is not. <laughs> but, uh, you know, you can go for, like, the waterfall out of, per, out of Palace onto A. Uh, that can work. But it's looking like Big right now are just going to get murdered in mid. I feel like he's supposed to peak maybe slightly after. They do have Deagles, more than I thought, so... Regardless, Tizian takes a bullet to the face and he's out of it. Now they're all in the middle, and VP probably don't really care. Actually, now that you point that out, three deagles. That's kind of a waste. For what's a hard eco round like this, where you are 99.999%, you know, just going to get murked. Uh, yeah. Getting deagles, I mean, these, this is a deagle now is like almost a full set of nades in the next round, right? Yeah, I'm not sure I, fu I fully agree with it either, but I mean, it seems like they'll they'll be all right. Wasn't as bad as I was, you know, making it up to be in my mind. susan has got that AWP and not much else. No head armor either, which is, again, you know, playing on the T side, especially against the weapons that they are right now. It could be a little bit annoying. But the first real shot for Big to, to do some damage in this one and see if they can uh, if they can start to step it up here. So let's just see what they bring into this one. Kinda, nice movement. I think he did get spotted. Yep, mm -hmm. he's going to dart right back. But they do have a pretty good presence here at middle and Catwalker. So Tizzy and I don't know. I mean, if he can get a kill here, he's probably going to pull that mid defense back. But he's just playing for effect here. He's just tr trying to be annoying and trying to, you know, cause a little bit. Trying to focus this defense over towards the B site. And look at this. I mean, there's four players on this side of the map right now for Virtus Pro. Kakert is alone on A right now. It seems like Big aren't going to be able to take advantage of this. Not for the moment. They are going to be just slow playing it, hoping that somebody on VP is going to walk into their crosshairs. That's the name of the game here for Big. Although, as I say that, I mean, Zenteris and Keto now starting to uh, at least trade places. 
it's still just this waiting game. 58 seconds, and Virtus Pro are going to start getting to the point now where they want to move around on the map for information. And so big, it turns into this game of chicken. Who's going to flinch first? I mean, eventually big will have to, right? Clock, after all, is running against them. So deep smoke going down there towards the top of connector, and no reaction just yet. Yakindar's moving into a position where maybe he could do something here. They're going to go check it. They nearly line up. That could have been a beautiful double kill. But yeah, now it's go time. Kido picking up uh, Kick it in the meantime. And Sizen just catching James. It's a disaster for the B bomb site. 25 seconds, and Buster is back here, but he's already been spotted. And they're going to take them all down. They didn't even need the bomb punch. Oh, those are some really, really big wins. Although VP also, they didn't have that great uh, weaponry to fight some of those fights with. So. They're going to have that next round. They're going to have that now. Big buy round coming up for v for VP. But man, big. They won every duel, and they made it look easy. They were ready the entire time. Look at that. Searson ready at window. And the, I mean, even with the two players on B site, you're thinking some damage could get done? Not at all. Very well handled there by Big when they got their first buy round, man. That was clean. They did, by the way, also walk into the most stacked part yeah. of the map, didn't they? It you was know. like nuked everybody. Yeah. That's going to be a little demoralizing for Virtus Pro. If you're, you know, if in real terms, that was a buy round. You're both fully bought up, and you just got wiped out completely, even with everything going your way in terms of positioning. Yeah. Definitely going to be thinking that you, you could have had much more of an impact there. All right. Bomb is still pretty far back. Searson is going to lose a fight to James. Oh, and the follow-up. James, he's come to play. The pistol round, and now these two shots. That is beautiful. Tabson going to be forced back, and I don't know. This is a real... Struggle. If they lose this round big, especially without doing any damage, that is going to be a disaster. Really nice support from that short position here. Oh, if it went deeper, that grenade. What's the name of the game, though? That's a smoke that's fr thrown by uh, Zantara's walk off connector. And yeah, that was going to be the play. Buster catches Tijin. The weird smoke. There was just an angle there, one way. And well, now, I mean, they're getting whittled down one after the other here, big, hoping to catch somebody again. Taps, and oh, that gives it away. Still, wins the duel, gets the headshot on your kinder. Buster, however, could very well drop the bomb, and that'll end this round right here. I mean, it should be almost a done round already. It's 25 seconds. Yeah, I'm glad that Buster isn't going too much for the repeak, because why Why give yourself up? Molotov in the corner would be really painful to kick it. He'd probably die before he could even do anything. But so far, they've thrown no grenades his way. Jame is going to miss a shot, but a lineup for kick it is there. So he's going to get that running for the AWP, and he will successfully claim it. That's all good. I mean, yeah, they maybe lost the, you know one play more than they needed to there. But B did not get the bomb plant, and VP right back in the mix. They're looking good, especially those shots from Jame were lightning fast. Oh. Yeah. That's Jame, highest rated player for VP going into this. Only guy in the green right now in kill difference for, uh, for VP. So he is going to be the driving force behind this team, getting it in. If he's going to be playing like that especially, I mean, what a real delight. That could be a really fun game. Sizian charging in with the Mac 10 early on here. And tries to make a jump for it, but he will get caught mid-air. Sanji getting one buster now with a follow-up double kill. And that will shut up the whole uh, offense here. Nothing much that they could do. Searson is going to get a kill. Actually gets another headshot. That's pretty impressive. But no bomb plant once again. And losing two, I don't think that's so bad actually for VP. Not They're at all. still building that economy. Yeah, not at all. That was excellent. And that was a fully orchestrated rush coming in from Big. You saw it. All the nades thought out. They had the flashes. They had the mollies. They had everything. And VP, they only lose two players to that intense pressure. Really well handled by Virtus Pro. And so Big, now we're going to really start feeling the heat. They are going to have this buy round coming up now. Despite the, the lack of a bomb plant, they still have enough for the rifles. They will get serious in that AWP. And now, okay, again, another change of strategy. Wow, so aggressive. Yeah. I think ah, yeah. He, he saw heard. Tishin. He realized. Doesn't even matter, does it? Instantly taking him down. And could have been a big shot there. But um, instead, Yakinda goes down. Doesn't seem like it's really going to matter that much here. Kicker playing a bit of a game. And Sanji showing up to help him out. Great communication and great shots ringing out right now for VP. They are playing an incredible game at the moment. That uh -huh. trick in the middle that uh, that Yukinda uses with the Orc, yeah. people will have to start countering that fairly soon because we've seen it abused a couple of times already in Flashpoint. Yeah, definitely. 
from Virtus Pro. You and I have gotten to cast these guys a few times now. Yeah. And it really feels like a go-to strategy. Get that smoke down and then play right on the edge of it. And it is pretty much a one-way. We've seen it from both perspectives now where Yakinder, he can clearly see people at the top of mid. But if you're at the top of mid looking towards that smoke, you don't see him. And so you're going to have to start just throwing HEs in there. You're going to have to start spraying it. You can't, you can't just assume that that's a faulty smoke anymore. You have to put some damage through it and force Yakinder to play a little bit more honest. I, lo I really love the aggressive nature of how Jame has come into this game because we, we, do, we do have a whole, like, meme universe around Jame, obviously, for, uh, you know... What, you mean you haven't invested your skins in Jame Bank? Just an, I would now, if this is how if this is the return we're going to get. I'm ready. Um, but, I mean, there are some games where you see, where you see sort of, you know, um, I would say a more pas pa passive version of Jame. Mm. Uh, but this, this style is amazing, and it, it's so hard right now for Big to do anything about it. You can clearly tell. That push into into underpass and just taking now because I'm pretty sure that Tizian heard the scope from James. That's why he came back mm -hmm. um, to look down there, and he was like, "Okay, I'll jump up and like you know." James just like, "I don't come so fast. You can you can do whatever you want up there. I'm gonna catch you." Yeah, yeah. this is Whoop. they're just getting sweet. round after round. Real sweet. Right now, you gotta feel so frustrated if you're big. They're not getting any chance for some duels. You are just getting battered every time. We will get this tactical timeout being used here by Big. Good bit of chatting going on from Tabson as well right now. But, I mean, you... All right, so Searson succeeded in saving the AWP. We will have enough money for a buy round here from Big. I mean, barely. Yeah. Especially behind the AWP, right? It's, it's tempting to do that. You don't want to let them get away with a bunch of rounds here where they don't lose anyone, so I expect they're going to put on some pressure. It's real tricky. I mean, what you'd be tempted to do is try and figure out a way to avoid Jame if he's going to be playing this well. I'm sure Searson will, will want to take the fight to him, but Mirage isn't a map where you can just, you can't just know where that orb is going to be, right? He could be playing, he could be switch, swip, he could be either bombsite or middle. Like, he could go wherever he wants, basically. Um, and so... That might be it might be hard to take that strategy into to any given round here and, and try and make that work. And it's also always risky when you end up playing, you know, to what your opponent is doing. Like then you're not playing your own game, but you're sort of trying to adjust in the moment to whatever yeah. is coming at you. So I don't know. I mean I'm a, I'm kind of expecting for Big to be well enough prepared that they have you know, a pretty long list of things that they want to try and go through here. But it's rough because they haven't established, you know, much of it yet. Like most of the things that they've been trying, you know, when you get picked off early on with the, by by the enemy op. You know, that strategy, you don't even really know if it, if it would have worked or not, because you're dead before you even get into it. Alright, Deagles to follow it up, so not actually going for uh, the AK and the Gileals that they could have had. Fair play. Alright. <laughs> just in a lake of fire, wasn't he? Eh. <laughs> VP are just... They, they, they really are trying to get the maximum punish. Nice try, Searson. Searson really trying to make this off work. But VP, you saw the aggression coming in uh, from Yakinder and Kickert there towards A ramp. So if big, we're going to go for a default, they execute, right? Like, oh, we're just going to have a default round, guys, and then we'll reset with the rifles or whatever. VP were in position to just punish and wreck that immediately, right off the bat, to put pressure on it. And so <laughs> uh, VP are being very proactive right now, which is a real pleasure to see. They're looking so good. They're confident, they're taking duels, and they're looking to try and destabilize big's game. And this is Big's map pick. It's worth pointing out. So if you if you take Big here and you're Virtus Pro and you're going into Vertigo next, I mean that's a winning solution. That's a winning situation. And that would be a great way to get started in the best of three. Smoke off there to try and make James' life a little bit more tricky. If they can go quick towards this catwalk and just collapse on the site, that actually is the best option right now for what VP's defense is looking like. So let's see if they're going to be able to do it. A little bit of a boost up here. That's a cool way to offset the angles. Very hard to read if you're inside of the B-bomb site. They have the whole setup, but they need to go right now before more backup is going to be showing. Already third man in the bomb site. 20 seconds left. Sanji with a bit of a spray taking down Sizian. Buster nearly following it up. He's going to be able to, and he almost gets flanked, but the backup is here, and that's the bomb on the ground, and there's not going to be anything that Kido could do about it, even if he gets a kill. If he gets two kills, it won't matter. So, yeah, save the AWP if you can. That is... I mean, that's not that far from actually working out for Big, but I think they were about seven seconds too late on that execute. A third man showed up, and that was just enough to hold them back. This is the best-case scenario, though, for Big. Saving that AWP, at least, means you pass that over. Searson can drop you an AK, and you're actually still going to just have a full buy. So, rinse, repeat. 
round didn't work out for you that time big. It's still only 7-1. We're still early days here in this half. It's been a very one-sided affair for Virtus Pro so far. But uh, this isn't a one half for VP just yet. There's still plenty of opportunity here for Big to come back into it. And so now is the time. Flashes over the top. Searson just charging straight in. And, and Jame was ready for him. Jame was holding against this short push. That is crazy. Ooh. And then Molotov, I mean, that was an opportunity for a kill. That needed to work out. Buster and Kick It will take two in return. And the rest of the push is getting absolutely collapsed, trying to get into the... A bomb site. Yakindar down here. A little bit of an awkward fight against Tizian. He's not going to win it either, but it won't matter in the end here. Tizian so low on health already. They know where he is. He's, he can't escape this position. In fact, you could see from Jame using the pistol that it's already been called in. Yakindar would have made that call instantly, saying mm -hmm. he's very low. Just you know, go get him. No problems at all. Yeah. So Jame probably should have had that that kill against Searson. As you said, he was in position, but Searson should have had the follow-up once they forced him out of the Molotov. Yes. So, I don't know. There's a lot of things that went south there. The main part of the push, though, when the fight was happening in middle, just did not work out. Yeah, this hold here is, is everything. They're so ready for him. Everywhere right now. VP, at all points, were ready for that push from Big and for the response as well. It's so awesome. sick. Oh, now Yukinder is going to be looking. Now we've got Jamin Window. <laughs> You were right to point that out, Anders. I mean, it is really perfect here from Jame. He has got so much like so much freedom on this map right now. He's playing a different position every round. Big have no idea where this guy's going to be set up. It is not like a, a turret style of opping that we're getting from uh, Jame at all. No, it's really cool. And you see him and Yukinda are in there. So Yukinda just puts out the Molotov behind him so he can stick around and play for Jame as well. So the two of them have got some, uh, some, some good intuition about how to do that. Because if Yakinda just falls back, he's, you know, James sort of has to fall back as well, almost. Oh, <laughs> caught mid-air! I'm going to need to see that from Searson's point of view. The bomb is going to go down, and I don't know. Oh, he's going to catch him just as he's picking up the rifle. If we, if it had been Searson and Santara's left two on three, could have been really fun. Now, Searson is in a lot of trouble here. He's got not much to work with. No armor, no grenades, only really the element that surprises you. He can sneak all the way through. Did make some noise, but they were too far away. Now he's walking up behind them. They will have put on a smoke on that bomb, and they're going to try and tap it and see where he is. He's got the right idea, but again, the lack of armor. It's a headshot, but even even if not, I mean, just the, the time that it takes for him to get all those kills probably would have been the end. So it's a nice idea. It's a cool attempt, I think, but it does not change the fact that it's 9-1 to one in favor of VP. Oh. Wait, what? He's jumping too? Shorty. The timing. Get the fuck uh, out. What is that? They were both jumping. And the Deagle wins. <laughs> well then. Yeah. Well then is right, Anders. They were... Listen, sometimes, you know, just Lady Luck. She's going to be on your side. That is a ridiculous lottery to play in, isn't it? it is, is it just me or is that... I mean, no, that, that can't be right. That, that's the first bomb plant for big. Close I can't remember two. the last time. Close to, I think. I can't remember the last time. They <laughs> haven't. They haven't had many. That's for sure. This has been a, a, just a completely worthless first half for Big so far. One round on the board. It's nine to one in favor of Virtus Pro on the CT side. Look at the Jame and Kicker again with a with a forward setup over towards the ramp. Just super unpredictable, right? Every single round, it's a little bit different. Not so much in middle and connector this time, but now. You know, I'm, I'm just waiting for the for the B hallways push to slightly kick in. Mm -hmm. I mean, that would, that would be the next step, wouldn't it? To put James, Jame over in those B hallways and just have him have that deep ankle. Maybe even push up with whoever is playing over there with him. I guess that would be um, Sanji or, or Buster maybe, but yeah. It's like they have a checklist. Yeah, that's what you should do. Just keep going down the checklist. One spot after another. And right now, Big, I mean, this is forcing Big to have to worry about all of these angles. They have to commit so much time to clearing out all these spots, and now they're just waiting here, hoping that somebody from VP is going to drop in. And of course, Yekinder. Not only does he drop in, he gets the kill on Kido, who was waiting so patiently the entire time, and now Yekinder can get out of here. He still hangs around, so he's still trying to make plays and be a little greedy. That's going <laughs> to end up costing him. I love how Sanji doesn't even show himself. He doesn't even pull the trigger, Anders. Oh, man. 20 seconds left, and actually Big are going to try and make a sprint over here towards B, and Buster, I'm pretty sure he just spotted Searson. All Buster's going to do now is going to call for the rotation from his teammate. Oh, through the box! Tizian going to find Sanji, but that's it. Now he's going to get caught in a sandwich. He has to find the kill on Buster in a moment here, or he is going to get flanked. 
Buster's playing this so well. He's just waiting for the cavalry to arrive. They've got all the time in the world to make this retake happen. Why does he peek? Yeah, a little bit early on that one. Gonna go for the fight. And I mean, that did give an opportunity for Tizian to at least try it. But they're gonna be on the defuse again. 10 to 1. And yeah, they lost a couple of more people here in this round, and that's a bit annoying. But like, given, the, given the money that they have, don't think they really care at this point. Surprising. Coming from three angles as well. I mean, Buster dying there turns that into a totally winnable situation for Big. They could have gotten that. That was a clutch that was definitely possible. And so now, well, it doesn't go the way of Big. They are just getting battered right now. Buster, that is a sick one. <laughs> what, did he punch him too hard? Oh, sorry, dude. Listen, surely they're going to be frustrated. Technically, if they win the next four rounds in a row here, then, you know, it's, it's all back in action. Jame catching that one. He was flashed, though. So Searson probably thought, all right, with the smoke of the flash going over the wall, it, it's going to be enough. I can make this cross, and it would have been fun to see where he would have gone with it if he would have gone into the ladder room or all the way in towards the B-bomb site that early on. Let's see. Uh, I want to see it from James' perspective. If we have it, that's going to be sick. Because he's, he's blind. He's blind. So is he just is it just pure timing at this point? I'm guessing he's so far back that he wouldn't have been like fully, you know, just completely blind. Just could have just been like a quick little like. Cause he was really far back. Smoke up, kick it, playing close tabs, and it's gonna be going down. Keto next in line. You kind up, having himself a great game. He's 12 and six. James is 12 and three, and Buster is 10 and three. They're all, just all playing well. Sanji's up there as well. No one is doing badly. Big are getting absolutely destroyed on this map. Zontaris has got three kills. Searson's got five. Those are the two highest rated players for Big, and uh, they're both low single digits. That's not good. Well, I mean, you're just, I mean, none of this, nothing, nothing is good here for Big on this first half. 11 to 1 in favor of VPN. Just oh. Saw, oh, so he saw him before the flash, at least. Well. 13th round, and I don't know. I mean, I don't, wasn't expecting this. I don't think many people were looking at uh, looking at the odds. I mean, it was a bit of a coin flip on the odds, to be perfectly fair, right? Yeah. So and on the performance, if you look at the st if you look at the stats, actually, I mean, VP have worse stats across the board than Big in terms of individual performance coming into this. There's only Jay who's in the green and KD. Um, they are around the ones, but uh, in terms of rating, but Big, they 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 have. Uh, every advantage coming into this on an individual level, right? So if you're looking at the odds, it's like, yeah, of course you're going to you're gonna favor big. Just makes sense to favor big in this sort of scenario. Here we go. Rush into the B-bomb site. Set up with a couple of grenades. Sanji will find the first kill. Tiz Tizian wrapping around with a Mac 10 It is a really mobile gun. So yeah, he's going to be able to get a double kill. They don't have a lot to work with here. They need this round. Keto trying to find a weapon, but he's going to go down. So it's back into a three-on-three. And the last flashbang used there. James doesn't really care about it. He's actually got some backup here. Still, Tizian doing a lot of work. He's done so much damage and really able to get a third one in there before he finally goes down. So now it's up to Tabson and Searson. That bomb, not that far ticked yet. There are a lot of smokes and grenades here for VP. See if they get any of them out. It's going to be one. Tabson blind shot through the smoke, but he goes down right afterwards. And so now it's up to Searson. One versus two. They line up inside of the smoke even. And he's going to get that one. And finally, another round on the board. A second one. And, I mean, they need the next two badly, don't they? They do. They need everything left here in the first half. But, of course, VP are going to have plenty of money for the buy round, so it's going to be a fully equipped Virtus Pro through and through. And, yeah, this is such a sick rap petition. So fast with the MAC-10. Nicely done. Well done on Big. They finally break the streak after, what, eight rounds in a row for Virtus Pro. Yes. Big get a second round on the board. Oh, and it's looking like a... Uh Trying to make up their mind. They had a bit of a, a rumpus at top mid there, big, for a second. And now, clearing out B halls could be setting themselves up to try and poke and prod over here. This time it's going to be a palace focus from VP. <laughs> Kickert's all the way up there, just waiting. Yeah, but it looks like they're going to return to the B bomb site here on the big side. So Sanji and James are inside of it. See, it's going to be hard for James to land a lot of shots here. He's instantly going to try and fall back. Sanji actually picking up that one, and the gap between the first man in for Big and the follow-up is so wide that James is just saying, all right, I'm just going to come back and start sniping. Molotov put out, even though it took a little bit of time there. 
And yeah, they're getting slowed down so much here from Big. I feel like it's fine to have some spacing. They're still going to win some of the follow-up fights, but they really shouldn't be. It's Antares and Tabs in here. Two on three. And nice angle from your Kindar. Santara is never going to be able to see that. And Tabson, one versus three. Bomb is up in the hallway, so... Ooh, that's a bit of a flick. Taking down your Kindar. Taking down Buster, and now Kickered. He's also in the market. He's got this line up. Tabson spraying, but he can't get the last one in there. And Virtus Pro. That's all they let them have one round. Dude, what? Can we see that Tabson flick again? What the hell? I don't know. That looked disgusting, didn't it? What the hell was that? Dude, he just whips on him. Was there an audio cue that we didn't hear? I guess he must have heard a footstep. But what? Dude, it's just instant. He's dead on him. It's the only one. Whoa, man, Tabson. I'm so confused about big, you know, I think it was Tizian in first. So from Tizian going down to the follow-up, such a long time. That can be... I don't know, that can definitely backfire on you. As you can tell, they, they did get slowed down a lot. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's 12 yeah. and 2. We're seeing some some yeah some issues with the spacing on big for sure. But yeah, now 12 to 2, 10 round lead for VP on the CT side. It's just that's a monstrous first half, and they've just been. This is pretty much like what the first default round that we're getting out of VP, in what feels like forever. You know, not aggressive towards ramp, not aggressive towards palace, just a single body in mid, keeping an eye on things. Two one two. Yeah, they are being a a little bit more. Lead back here. I'm still kind of shocked that they haven't really gone like. I mean, apart from top mid, right? I haven't seen the B hole or But I mean, it's all been working, right? They've just been showing up for some fights in the middle a lot of the time and winning those. And then James is going to hear that stepping and he's ready for it. Could have been maybe a timing there where they could have swung on him. Tizian over at the B bomb side, though. He's going to win that first fight. Kid to get the second one. Sanji's going to have a much better angle against him. The bomb is in the A bomb side regardless, so. I don't know, trying to see if he could do something there, Tapson, but now it's on the ground instead. And this is so, would have been an absolutely brutal first half here for Virtus Pro. 13 and 2 is going to be the end of it with just a, I mean, this is a slaughter beyond what anyone could have really imagined. Uh, what a what an incredible game from VB. What a way to start off here. Big are going to have to dig deep to find some way to recover from this madness. Um, they will have a, maybe a little bit of a shot at it in the second half. It's going to be coming up after the break, so stay tuned. may cause side effects including drowsiness, headaches, nausea, rashy skin, anal leakage, and an overwhelming sense of joy.
Welcome back. It's it's a ridiculous way to get back into it, isn't it? It's like 10 minutes ago that we started this uh, map here on on Mirage, and now it's 13 to 2 in favor of Virtus Pro, and they are wrecking big to a degree that not many people would have uh, really imagined. But yet here we are. Here we are, Anders. Every now and again, we get a performance like this from one team over another, and it just shows the firepower uh, and the confidence on the VP side of the map right now. They're even in firepower. It's VP, however, who are just wholly confident going into this match. They have got Big figured out. And I'm wondering if it's fatigue on Big's side. I don't, they've been going nonstop for a good long while now, and I think they're just playing in everything that they can. And so I'm wondering if it, if it isn't just a, you know Shouldn't Big kind of getting figured out and worn up? out. Sorry? Shouldn't that just mean they're like super warmed up, like they're always ready? <laughs> Dude, day in, day out, you just do you know the online CS uh, after a year of online CS like this, I'm the relentless grind. Excuse. I'm not accepting it. <laughs> okay. All right. Playing in a million dollar tournament. Yeah, exactly. So why are you bothering playing in a German tournament is what I'm trying to say. Well, that's probably true. Santaris waiting for the flashbangs, but uh, he's a little bit hesitant to peek against them. They're all there. The entire VP army coming for them. Bit of a grenade. It doesn't actually tag everyone, although they are getting slowed down and damaged now. Stumbling, trying to get into the B bomb site. Sanji will still pick up a kill, and I can't believe he's still alive in here. He's been standing in the bomb site for a couple of seconds now. Usually that'll get you killed pretty quickly. Now it's a three on four, and the bomb is not being planted yet, but they don't really need to. They're just winning these fights left and right. Keto trying to get back into it, but now it's on Searson. One versus two. Knows where they are as well. But bomb is in the middle of it, so he could just try and wait for them to try and pick it up. They've already done that. Good headshot. And now one on one. searson has got the health advantage and the weapon advantage as well, but... Kick it. Yeah, he's going to try and go for it. Already tagged up, and Searson will take him down. Big winning a third round. Very nicely done on Searson, keeping his cool like that. VP in these kind of clutch situations, it's, it gets a little dicey. It gets a little dicey where uh, maybe some miscommunication there between the two players trying to peek him at the same time, and then one of them still being in the open when the bomb gets planted. So it's a one on one, right? It's the best case scenario for Searson in that sort of scenario, you know, and with how that plays out. So uh, interesting. Interesting how that goes, but big. Withstanding the pressure, picking up the pistol in the second half. Good on them. Yeah, there you go. Listen, this is a game of Counter-Strike, and at this level, anything is possible, Anders. Big are absolutely capable of running it all the way back. Not even gonna lie. I would, I would love for nothing more to happen. That would be really exciting. But I think a secondary goal, again, we always bring this up, but it's just to, you know, get everyone warmed up for the second map. So, winning the pistol round, yeah, it's still super relevant. Try and, try and get as much as you can on the board, and also, you know, make VP cool down a little bit. Make sure James isn't playing to this incredible level. That's going to help out a lot. Bomb being brought back towards the A bomb site, and Tabson is down. Oh no, that's Buster already low on health before he started that fight, and takes him right out. Santaris is next. This is shaping up to be a real disaster, isn't it? Dude, Santaris has got five kills. All right, Tishan is finally going to put an end to James' shenanigans in mid. So we're getting rid of that guy, and Tijin aware that the flank could be coming through. Going to set a trap with that smoke, but the bomb is rotating over towards A. It's looking like VP are going to get a crunch going here on the A site in a moment. The Akinder is still alive in Palace waiting for the push. Well, look at who's moving up out of uh, the B hallways right now. Tizian is on a bit of an adventure. So, I mean, they'll have some advanced warning. Th those two people in the A bomb site should should know that something is coming. The problem is Kido's solo on health that he can't take any kind of a sustained fight against anyone. So the flank is cool. Oh, Sisson, that's a nice way to open it up. Almost going to get crushed in on there. Kido with the follow-up. That's all he needs to do. That one kill is enough. And Tizian going through the middle. So this is what a, a four on three that they managed to turn into a victory after having nearly thrown the round away there. That is actually not that bad of a recovery from Big. And also taking the, again, the initiative to push out of the B bomb side to find the information is critical. Yeah, still, they are going to spend all of their money this round. And this is going to be a full buy coming in from VP, essentially. They will have the Mac 10 on Sanji. It looks like he's going to be the one who's going to squeak. But the others will have some nades. Ooh, no smoke picked up by Kicker and HE instead. Interesting. But now it is going to be buy versus buy and a straight up approach here from Virtus Pro charging straight out onto the A site. Monster nade. Yes, Yakinder eats most of that magic apple. Keto going to go ahead and hold the line first. And he gets two kills with the help of his teammates. Tabson with the monster flash going over the top. And the defense holds perfectly here for Big. What wonderful work. What? He just aced them. 
Oh my god, three of them with an MP9, two of them with the USP. I can't I don't even can't even fathom how you do that much damage. Yeah, the flashbangs were definitely great, but he should have been dead ten times over in this. It's so absurd. That's how you double your kills in uh, a single round. Wow. Oh, that last shot. What a way to end it as well. All right. And Ace, if you were going to make a comeback, that's a good way to do it. Get fired up. Get hyped up. That, they had rifles as well. You shut them all down. 13 to 5. Let's see. One damn MP9. In the, in, just, in the most common position of all time on the A bomb site, right? So there is really no element of surprise or anything else, but it just worked. Yeah, VP tried to really pull a fast one there. That HE, stunning and uh, slowing them all down as well. The Kinder getting softened up. I mean, just the uh, the nade usage there. The Kinder taking his time, going to go ahead and assassinate Searson. Easy peasy. Yeah, Jam had already called it in. And actually, because of that, oh man, that's one mistake that Searson makes by just pushing all the way and not checking the kitchen. Mm. He thinks, well, that's it. So now two people are dead behind it. Is it going to be more? Santaris, he's got the right idea, but Jame will still take him down. Oh, man, it's just, it keeps going. Jame picking up tabs in as well. One small oversight, and the whole round is gone. Man, Jame, what did this guy do to have this kind of performance right now? 19 and 8 for Jame. What a god. He is battering big right now. This is sick. Top performer for Virtus Pro so far this tournament, without a doubt. But, I mean, uh... I mean, he is still putting out here in it's, the upper bracket match. It's absolutely incredible how much in, how much goes wrong because of uh, of Sirson getting the early kill and just continues going that way. James just calling it in, saying, "You can die. He's coming your way. Just you know, wait for him." And then I'll sneak into the B bomb site. Yeah, I can understand the frustration. Fourteen and five. Well, from an ace into into losing to really nothing at all. That's pr that's pretty rough. <laughs> That's a real roller coaster, isn't it? <laughs> Going back down again now. Hmm. 20th round, and um, I don't know. I mean, I'm really admiring Virtus Pro. CT side, never the same setup. You couldn't predict anything of what they were going to do. And here on uh, T side also, just not really giving it a, a default away. It's been a lot of quick play coming through here from Virtus Pro, not really letting their opponents have any time to adapt. Really liking this here, this approach from VP. It's giving them quite a bit of confidence. You can see, yeah, exactly. The clear frustration from Big. And so Big now, I mean, they've kind of put Keto back in the same spot. He'll be in shadow. Could have an aggressive hold here in uh, the catwalk, uh, yeah. Catwalk connector. Oh, he turns away. Sanji would have seen the gun barrel, but he turns away right as that happens. And then not going to get away, though. Yakinder catches taps as he tries to fade through the smoke. Not this time, Ninja. Gonna go straight for the jump over into the window and not quite gonna go through the smoke again, just waiting for it to fade. He's not sure if someone's on the other side, but him just being here is, is an incredible position on the map to have anytime you're on the T side. Zizian looking for it, but he's still gonna go down. Searson in the middle also checking it from the other side, and that is a very, very important kill to go and return. And you can, watching a kid play is just always fun, isn't it? He is very, very. He can be so aggressive he's everywhere. He's very aggressive. He's a very dynamic player. You're like, I know he's very humble in some of these interviews we've been having with him, where he's been saying, like, yeah, but I've been brought up under, you know, like, Jame, and, like, you're still trying to give the credit on. But you can clearly tell that he's making a lot of decisions on his own, and they're very, they're very smart decisions. Like, he's an intelligent player. Three versus three. 30 seconds left. The bomb is here. So, I mean, I don't know if they want to run it back to the B-bomb site. If they win this fight now against Keto, if they make up for it again... Then VP are going to be on map point. They have full nades. They're just not leaving themselves much time to use them at all. 20 seconds left. 20 seconds! We're down to 15 seconds here, Virtus Pro. There we go. Molly on Aikido. Checking his favorite spot. He's going to be out in the open. He is gone, and now you just got to stick the bomb plant. You no longer have any time at all. Zantara is going to take the duel with Jane. Oh, no. He could be in a position to deny the bomb plant. He Unfortunately didn't know. for him, he yeah, exactly. He didn't spot it. Two on two retake now. That would have been the round right then and there. Oh, I mean, I think this is also where you get a sense that Big are really rattled here. Like, they're, they're so frustrated about what's going on that some some small mistakes are sort of slipping through. Now let's just see. Two on two. They're going to tap the bomb a single time. They don't have a kit picked up right now. Kick it getting the one kill. And Santeris, I don't know what you want to do here. A 10-second defuse out in the middle of the bomb site. Buster's wrapped all the way around. And he still picks it up. And he's going to be right back on it. But 
doesn't have the time, so he's going to have to pick up the orb and run. Oh, no. It's 15 rounds for Virtus Pro. Wow. <sighs> Couldn't ask for it. Amazing, isn't it? And it's crazy that Zantaris just annihilates and hits that shot. Let's see here. This is, yeah, good stuff. I mean, just really, just the finest of margins. What a game. Yeah. What a game, but that's map point now for Virtus Pro. 15 to 5. Force Spy has to come through here from big. Everything they've got, and it ain't pretty. They've got the AWP that they saved, and two rifles, two deagles, handful of nades, all they can work with, whereas VP are fully bought up, and the aggression coming through. James not going to be able to spot the first one. He's got to be careful here. Needs his teammates to help him out, and the, the focus is fantastic from big. All of the pressure going into mid. Yeah, definitely winning that fight. Still a three on three. Searson out in the open, trying to take that fight. They weren't expecting it. He can't get the flick, but Keto will get the follow up. So Buster is going to be in a one versus two. A lot of chaos in that one. And I've got to say as well, Jame and whoever was behind him there with the AK, that was, that was, they were, I, I don't mind that they're fighting middle, but that was so wild. They were yeah. just jumping into that fight. I think they got a little bit, uh, maybe just a little bit off timing there. A little awkward. Let's see what Buster could do. He's waiting for them to make a mistake. It's pretty reasonable. He's got a minute, so... To be fair, now Big should just buddy up. Is Tishan hoping he can find a gun somewhere? No, he's going to rotate back over towards B. But they've already, they, they know where Buster is anymore, right? So they have no idea. That's why I'm saying they should buddy up. Because then at least if, if, they, if he plants A, cool, you're already together. Uh, if he plants B, you retake together. But you put yourselves in a position to trade at all times. Here now... It's luck almost, because you could have a duel that Buster wins, and it's a 1v1, right? Imagine if Buster just Molotov that corner. That would be the real deal, wouldn't it? But uh, so far, he's, he's trying to focus on not making any noise, and he all he needs to do is find someone. Make it a one-on-one. -on -one. He's down to 24 seconds, and Tizzy is miles away. So, I mean, they can hear any bomb plant right now, right? They, 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 can, they can make a quick rotation. They, again, don't have a kit, so yeah, now he's been st already started to step. And he's going to be trying to sneak closer here to Zian. It's not a bad idea. He's going to be wearing a right behind him. And that is an easy kill. So, a sixth round on the board. And they're going to be finding whatever they can on the ground here. But yeah, they they managed to win it. Yeah, you I've, got to, I've got to say, the way that they took that fight VP at the top, I don't like... I don't. I think that was just... That was yeah. premature sort of like celebration. They were just scoffed like, yeah. it, janky. Yeah, exactly. They weren't quite dialed in there. Spacing was definitely not right to deal with the aggression, and so they got punished. Now we get to see here what they're going to be capable of. Yukinder could drop an AWP if they wanted to, if they want to go into this uh, on the side of VP. Or VP could just go for a half buy here. Just a half buy, get some deagles, get a little Kevlar, you know, be a threat to be to big. But um, make sure that you have a real strong buy going into the next one. It's looking like that's what we're going to happen. We even have the hero AK getting thrown in here, the Russian AK from Yukinder. So we'll see if he can get anything out of it. Why not? I mean, they almost won it the, the last time they had it on Buster, I think. So just go for it one more time. It's going to be fast towards the B-bomb site, waiting for that Molotov to go away, and then they're going to be putting out whatever they can. That one, I don't even know. I mean, yeah, they might just try and... Oh, no. That's meant to go in front of the other smoke to create a little bit of a gap. Instead, Tizian is there just taking them down left and right. That's, that's everything they could have wanted. Yeah, disaster. MVP now, they're backing off, but like, what are you really going to do here? You have a single flash grenade. Uh, there are some slightly positive signs here. We look at Tizian and Sirson. They're both they're both playing pretty damn well at the moment. Um, the rest of the team have been lagging really far behind. But, th again, this is just giving Big an opportunity to mentally get into it. Vertigo would be the second map. Mm -hmm. You don't, you don't want to crash out of a map like this where Jame and Kindo are just, you know, just wrecking you all over the place. And then just say, oh, well, that was 20 minutes, you know, of Counter-Strike gone. Now we have to play the second map, and we're not even really mentally focused. So I think I think that's the one thing that's that's sort of a positive sign. I don't think they're going to be making a make it into overtime from here, but I would love to be wrong. I sometimes am. Sometimes. Ah, seriously. There we go. Nicely done here from Big. Seventh round on the board for them. Still map point for VP. And now we're going to get the buy round coming in here from Virtus Pro. They wish that they had actually got that uh, bomb planted. Because then they would have the money for, uh, well, whatever they wanted. Now it's not going to be an AWP True. in play here for Jame. Hmm. 
Well, let's see what they throw at us. So many different ways to uh, to approach this. Especially when you got this kind of a lead, you can you can throw in sort of what they're doing now, just some default A, a just see what happens. You know, like, you know, do they have the right defense for it? They're waiting right here. They should be going pretty quickly. That smoke that they have over in the middle, that's a T smoke. When that fades, if anyone from big is looking, they're gonna know one is middle. So yeah, they're gonna go right here. That's a pretty good timing, I think. Keto trying to put that out with a smoke of his own, and here they come. Good flashbang to avoid the AWP shot there. Tabson goes straight down. That's a nice entry for Kick it. And the Molotov trying to stop Sirson from getting through, but he somehow does and takes him down through the box as well. That is going to be an interesting shot. Now four on four, and Searson gets completely trucked. Trucked is right. Sick shot there from Keto, though. Well done holding the line. It's a three on three retake scenario now as the bomb gets planted. And while well, there's the flank coming in from Tijin, he is going to be the man of the hour. Do they? They have no way of knowing that he's back here. It's going to have to come down to experience. And there was a check from James. He looked for it, James, and he loses. He still loses a teammate. Yakinder goes down. Two players survive, but James is going to get traded one for one. Now it's all on Sanji. 1v2. Bomb planted for him. Needs to catch out Zontaris, and it's just not going to happen. Cool. Uh, I want to see Keto's shot. What? Or Searson's shot, rather. What was that? Yeah, I think you just hit him like through the edge of the box or something, but um, yeah, some good uh, good offing also coming out of Keto. That actually saved them quite a bit. Let's see. All. All right. Get out of here. Whoop. He is dead. That's a nice no shot. No way. Is that, what the hell is, he just flicked and exploded his magic. Head, that is cool. That's good. I mean, again, those are some good signs. You want to see Sears at this level because James is absolutely at that level. So, you know, someone's going to have to find a way to match him. 15 to 8 now. And even with the uh, bomb plant there, not quite going to have enough cash to go for the buy. The round loss one is not built up to that level yet. But soon that'll be, uh, you know, part of the problem as well. The big have to deal with is that every bomb plant will be another buy round straight out of out of VP. So we'll see. And that's also a bit of a contrast, right? We talked about how few bomb plants VP actually got when they were on the T side. VP are making all of these rounds quite competitive, even if they're losing some of them here. Inside of the bomb, oh, they're so close up. But this is actually super dangerous, even with not that many guns. Now that Sanji's picked up that kill, they're in a lot of trouble here. Tabson, that double spray down is massive. And it's the bomb. If Tabson goes down, they're going to get wrapped on from middle as well. And it'll be a disaster. It's still his Sanji. He's sniping them away with the deagle. Oh, no. Out of all the ways that this could have gone south, if they lose to Sanji's deagle, that would be just too upsetting. Deep nade there. He's now snuck into the corner. And yeah, he's going to get shot in the back. They managed to bring it back. Tabson with a quad kill. But, I mean, again, they just... This is what makes you think that Big aren't going to be bringing this back into overtime, is that all of these rounds, they're just almost losing. They're so close, but hey, they're almost losing, but they're they're still managing to stabilize in the end. Sanji, though, just doing work with the Deeg. He hardly even moved from that position. He was just, just a little taking pot in there. shots. Yeah, exactly. Just taking pot shots here and there. So a little bit of frustration there getting shown. Sanji shouldn't get too down on himself, though. I mean, they are still finding the kills across the board. No weak link in the VP roster right now. Thing is, as you pointed out, though, this is allowing for Big to actually get some of that confidence back and start getting some kills of their own. So going into you know Vertigo, which is the next map in the series, uh, Big are going to be warmed up. Had they gotten just obliterated right out the gates here, could have been a different story. But now, you know, Big, they're working their way back into this one. Jame. One of those guys like Twist, you know, who just plays with the monitor 10 centimeters from his face. I, mean, I don't know how you don't get motion sickness when it's that close. Like, I've tried, and I just can't do it. And it's like, it's just... Yeah, I don't know. It freaks me out. It's got to be something with your eyes as well. Like, how do you... How do you not, like... How do they not hurt after a while if you're yeah. just, just sticking him in there? But fair enough. I guess, you know... I can't really argue with the result, can I? I would sacrifice my eyes if I could play as fast as Jame is with the AWP. I'd be happy to do it. Oh. Bit of a failed run boost. They're also run boosting with an AK, which I guess you can do that. Assassin, do you want to stick around? Taking a little bit of damage there. He's not afraid to take that fight at all, so he's still hanging around here. Could have been almost for a little bit too long. Sanji nearly could have caught him there. Molotov will certainly force him further back. 
but uh, they're going to collapse on this A-bomb side. They got the right idea. If they can smoke off jungle, then this A-bomb side, I think, will fall. This defense is not that good right now. Yeah, they're going to get absolutely wrecked. Yakinda, double entry and the smoke up towards jungle, just like we were talking about. That is so good. Now, he does go down for the smoke, and that is a little bit of a weird turn of events. Don't think anyone could have seen that coming. But now the bomb is down. It's a four on three retake, and it will not be easy either for Big. They have one smoke that they need to put on that bomb. The bomb is way out in the open, and there's a Molotov on James. So they have to keep that smoke alive on Tabson for the bomb. Two players alive on this A side for now. And because of Tishan's last flank, look at how protective VP are being of the flanks. James, luckily for him, is going to hit his first shot. And that's, well, okay. That's just brutal. James and Sanji, between the two of them, annihilate that retake on their own. But Virtus Pro were ready for the flank from Tizen this time. They're like, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you pulled that on us once, Buster, but uh, it's not happening again. We're going to make sure we're good and That's protected. Fantastic. What a game out of VP. They came so well. That's so refreshing to see. Not warming up into it or anything, just smack in there and wrecking big on Mirage. Second map, obviously, will be on Vertigo, and that's going to be coming up um, after the desk and after the break, so stay tuned.